So here we are, the house is all empty and lifeless and as you can see it looks a bit devoid of any life and after uh, a really really difficult two years or so um, it just seemed the right time to make some decisions um, empty, uh, empty nest syndrome as they call it so it was time to sell up and to look for a new adventure so what we've done is now um, the house is completely empty. We've given away everything that we own um, and the, a sale is going through. So we're just waiting and resting and getting strong and whole again and then working out exactly what it is God wants us to do and what his plan is for us. So we've kind of put ourselves in a position now where we could do what, whatever we feel is the right step forward so we're just going to go on an adventure now and spend a month just thinking and pondering and healing and just getting strong one thing we would really really like to do and that's to say a great big thank you to our family that's our, our own family and the church family as well for the way that you have supported us over the last two years and the way you've also supported us with this decision um, of a life change for us as well. Um, some of you think we're bonkers and other people are really for us and excited but you've all loved us through it and so we just want to share this journey with you and, and we just hope that you enjoy um, seeing whatever it is we're going to go through. <laughs> so we have just locked the door and this is it our journey begins we're off to Morecambe tonight which is probably about 30 miles down the road how, go on, how many miles I'd say it's probably about 75 to 80 Oh, miles. 75, 80. We're doing a big run today. And Dean's going to go and watch one of his friends in a band. And then I will be off then. Not a clue where we're going. It's a bit scary because we haven't got a clue where we're going. But that's the adventure. So, one more time. Down the lane. Put some petrol in.
Good morning. We had an amazing sleep last night on our first night, and uh, I managed to get a run this morning uh, to the a really beautiful little peninsula, and it's a place I've never been to in Morecambe before. So um, a little bit too far for Delilah to walk. So we're out on the scooters this morning uh, to take Ian and show you just what we found. Still going. So this is what intrigued me this morning, I don't know if you can see, right on the corner of the peninsula you've got a old church and then on the old church you've got a graveyard and when I saw the signs the beach said Coffin Beach, so let me take you to explore. Sorry. <laughs> it just looks more intriguing as you get closer do you not think? Hang on let's turn it on, oh it's on. So this is what intrigued me. I kind of got to the end of the road and went up these little steps. Oh, thank you. It's just like the end of the road. Wait till you see what happens when we get up the steps. is the most intriguing little village. Sorry, I'm struggling with me scooter. Right, let me show you what is around the bend. I've got to this little one-way system. Turn the corner. And wow, this amazing tiny little village. So at the top is this church and it's got a memorial garden and it's even got a beach called Coffin Beach. So I'm going to take you and show you the garden.
this is us in Silleth looking for a park up and the sun is just about to go down. We've got piping hot fish and chips. Problem is, there's absolutely loads of car parks and every single one says no overnight parking. So it's tricky in a 27 footer to try and be a bit stealth. So we're just gonna park up on the road and see how everything goes. But what an amazing, amazing sunset. Thank you. 